Green Mountain College has set a new goal. With another perfect 99 rating by the Princeton Review, GMC is looking to the future. By 2020, Green Mountain College aims to achieve authentic sustainability. Green Mountain College is an environmental liberal arts school dedicated to reducing its carbon footprint. Every year, three major rating systems for sustainability in higher education are announced, one of which is the Princeton Review. The overall rating looks at three different things, how sustainable the school's curriculum is, how much the school teaches about sustainability, and how sustainable the school's operations, waste management, and use of sustainable food is. Green Mountain College Sustainability Coordinator says the school has worked tirelessly to reduce its carbon footprint. That was really a comprehensive effort across a lot of domains to reduce our energy use first. And we did that through a million dollar uh, window replacement project to make the dorms more efficient. We also uh, replaced a lot of the lighting fixtures with CFLs or LEDs. Um, and we also did some uh, dorm attic insulation projects. Once we were able to curb our energy use, both in heating and in electricity, then we built the $5.8 million biomass plant, which is what provides the heat to all of the main campus here. The changes on campus help the college reduce its energy use by nearly 50%. To offset the energy costs the school can't reduce, it's decided to take part in Green Mountain Power's Cal Power program. We pay a four cent premium on every kilowatt hour that we purchase for 50% of our electricity use. And that premium goes to a farm called Blue Spruce Farm right up the road here and allows them to produce electricity with the cow patties that they produce on campus. The on-campus farm is a major plus for the college when it comes to review time. There are really not many colleges that do something like this, and even then if they have the, a garden or a farm on campus, they're not integrating as much of the food as they can into the dining hall. Um, the main purpose of this farm isn't necessarily just the dining hall, but it is a huge portion of what they do and um, it's definitely still a work in progress getting the relationship strong between um, Chartwells, which is the dining service, and um, the dining hall. The farm works closely with the dining hall to incorporate as much of the food that is produced on the farm as possible. In addition, the head chef works several times a month with students to show them how food from the farm can be used to make different items used daily by students. It's really about educating the students and um, making them aware of the entire process while we're going through it, see what we're working with budget-wise, see what the realistic options are, um, and just working with them on that level, because we're really never going as fast as they want us to be going. Um, but it's really, that's, that's what it's all about, is letting the students know what is realistic and what we can really accomplish and, how, and show them how we are accomplishing those things over time. So. GMC's next push is to increase more sustainable transportation on campus. We also have free bus passes for all the student staff and faculty on the Marble Valley Transit District bus and that stops here four times a day which is not something you would expect in a rural area and we have a zip car program which is a car share program. We have two cars parked centrally on campus that students can rent out for a relatively low cost. In addition to the Princeton Review 99 rating, GMC's online sustainable MBA program was recently named one of U.S. News and World Report's best online graduate business programs.